voice in the desert crying, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Behold, holy ghost, riding on a cloud, shining like the sun, at the showbiz heart, in your blood, in our jubilee, out of joy and sweet salvation. Perish, yeah. And so oftentimes, beloved, we are waiting for our leaders, Overseer Jackson, to have visions for us. But sometimes we've got to have a vision for our... Yeah, the Bible says work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. Yeah, I can't wait to be able to reach my leader on the phone all the time. I've got to know the words of prayer for myself. I've got to be able to lay my hands on myself and to decree a healing and deliverance in my own life because just in case my, my, my leader is unavailable, I've got to have a relationship with God that says if he can't pick up the phone, I still got a connection with a God that's able to do worship and still praise and still love now let me tell you something don't you ever let somebody else cut off your blessing. If you're blessed, do everything you can to hold on to what God gave you. Don't you let no sissy punk, don't you let no baller, don't you let no hater cut off your blessing. Grab your neighbor, say neighbor. You don't know what I've been through to get here, and I will not give it up that easy. I will bless the Lord and offer his praise. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I present to you the Diagonal Class of 2000. And nine. accomplishments that he has in the mid 1970s he was a part of a panel of scholars who worked in Amman Jordan over several years and he was part of the group that did the interpretation and the translation of the new international version of the Bible Hello, somebody. Y'all ain't hearing me up in here. Y'all need to hear what I'm, what I'm saying. That, that when you read, when you read the NIV version of the Bible, you are reading what he says that the Bible says. It's a combination of two Hebrew terms. The one is the word halah. Allah means to make a confession to God. It means to boast. But here's the interesting thing about Allah. It means to boast about God 
ahead of time. It means to literally declare him to be before he does. In other words, you call him a healer before you get sick. You declare that he's going to bring you out before he even delivers you. So when you're shouting hallelujah, you're saying halal, you're really boasting about him ahead of time. Now in the middle there, there's a little term in the Hebrew. It's just a little term. It's a little two term that says lu. It means that you do it melodiously. Which means you do it with a grateful and a happy heart. But the last part is really, is really good because the, the last part of hallelujah is the word jah. It is an obscure Hebrew term for God. It means that he is a war God. And when you call Jah, it means that he is going to war for you. So wait a minute, let me put it all together. So hallelujah means to boast melodiously about the one who goes to war.